Yusuf, you're out of fetch away to Union Berlin. Here we go for Brizio Romano, as he would say. How much is it going to be, though? Is it going to be 25, 30 million, 35 million, 40? Or is it going to be a pish 7 million, brother, that Monza put a wee bid in for? What's it going to be? Negotiations are at final stages. No mention of a fee. But if I was to make a prediction, it's probably going to be about the same. It's going to probably going to be about 7 million. I don't see anything other than 7 million. I agree. I mean, if Celtic are willing to accept 7 million off Monza, then I don't see why they would all of a sudden be charging Union Berlin, you know, like double the amount of that, triple the amount of that, wouldn't make any sense to me. Um, it seemed like the Monza deal was pretty much done if Juranovic wanted the move. I guess he didn't, and to be fair, I don't blame him because, I mean, you're going to a team that is threatened with relegation, so, I mean, if he, if he went to Monza, the likelihood is next year he'd be playing Serie B football, which you don't want. You don't want to go from winning titles with Celtic, keep competing in the Champions League with Celtic, and then drop it all the way to, you know, the second tier of Italian football. However, Union Berlin, again, I think they're doing okay at the moment, but they're a team that I would associate with the bottom half of the Bundesliga. They're in the European places. You they are, but I mean, they're doing pretty good at the moment. Yeah, I guess you know, I thought Mars doesn't care, but it doesn't matter how good they were like five years ago, or whatever. I mean, at the moment they're doing okay, so maybe he thinks it's a. Get, don't get me wrong, it's a better move than Monza, one hundred percent. If I was Juranovic, I would obviously rather go to Union Berlin. I would choose Union Berlin over the F one track. That is for sure. <laughs> Exactly, but yeah, you know, Ger Jeremy Frimpong, he went to Bayer Leverkusen, and I'd say his stock was a bit lower than Juranovic's. I know he was more, oh, he's, he's very young, so therefore he could be going for he's a got, bit. He's got a lot of potential, whereas Juranovic is more of here and now. and Aye, the, He's the Croatian number one right back, brother. He, he was a star at the World Cup. But again, like, Ans did say recently that there'll be no more come goings and Cummins in and cut go and do it. But then he, he came out and said earlier that, oh, we're going to make some signings in the next few days. So can we really believe what he's saying, man? I can't, I don't believe what he's saying. But also, for Yorana Fitz, they brought in Johnson, who's who's just replaced him. Like, it, fit, it fits like a glove, doesn't it? That's what I mean. If Yorana Fitz was so good, if Yorana Fitz was this great player, then surely he wouldn't pretty much be replaced already. Yeah. Surely you could be going, oh, Celtic are going to be waiting years to replace him at right back. Whereas at the moment, it, it, it kind of, it actually feels like Yorana Fitch has already left. Even though he's still at the club, it feels like Celtic have adjusted to life without Yorana Fitch. Yeah, I, And I, if he was so good, I just don't think that would be the case. But you look at, like, they've, 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 I mean, they've never, I don't think they ever will replace Tierney. Just... I, I just doubt they're going to bring someone of Tierney's quality in unless they bring Tierney back. But then, even if they bring Tierney back or Robertson, who could, but they'll be done. There won't be anyone near the level. And the same goes for Rangers. I mean, they're never going to get a Bassey. Same level of a Bassey. People can say what they want about Barisic, but again. Yeah, Greg Taylor has improved. I'm not denying that. But for a while there, until, like, until recently, until the last year, Celtic fans were continually talking about the left back position on how they need to improve on how they need to bring in a better left-back, and they've been vulnerable at left-back since Tierney left, however. I just, I just don't really sense you'll get that with the right-back position. I don't I don't think you're going to have Celtic fans over the next couple of years complaining about, oh, we need a better right-back. I think they have that position covered, whether it be, you know, um, J Johnson or Ralston or whatever. Yeah, you're out of it. So I think he's definitely going... It'd be very stupid to hold on to him. We've been saying this for like, you know, literally since the World Cup was on and I'm actually I'm actually genuinely surprised it took this long. I, even though there's nothing concrete here, I mean, the, the, things could change. Like we thought with Monza it was done, thought it was a done deal. And again, you know, it's not over the line. And same with Jim Marcus, like we can talk about Rangers not getting their signings in. We see Celtic trying to get their, their, their offload their players, it's taking the same amount of time. I think Giamakis could. I think he's more likely to stay, but the reason why I think Juranovic would probably go is because a. I mean, he doesn't want to be there. He's basically said that, and you just don't need three right backs. And again, it's not like they've got three right backs, and they're at different levels. They've got three right backs, and they all want to be number one. 
Exactly, no youthsters in there. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully, tomorrow there's going to be some actual signings. I'm, I'm feeling Cantwell's going to be announced like, if Monday. You're, if you're on a pitch, decides that he's going to stay put to the end of the season, surely Ralston goes to Paul and is like, loan me it. Yeah, has to. Has to. But guess what? Because so I think it's fair to say that Ralston is further in the pecking order. I'd say so. But could he feature tomorrow? Because it is Celtic against Greenock Morton, quarter past 12 kickoff. Well, your Anafitch feature, Giamakis. Giamakis has been featuring, despite the fact he's at the door. I, I think I, I don't think Giamakis should leave. I mean, he's second behind Kyogo. Not bad. Maybe he wants to be number one. Maybe he wants a new improved deal. Maybe he wants a bit of both. Maybe he wants an improved deal and he wants to be the number one. Here, if you were on less than half of what Carl, Carl Starfelt's getting, you'd probably throw the fucking toys at the prom. That's very true. And on that note, guys, that's got a date for Celtic's transfer business. Not an awful lot happening in the, uh, the Scottish Premiership today. Rangers, we've got Raskin completing his medical. But again, when are we going to get Cantwell and him announced? When are we going to get Jim Goodwin out announced? I tell you what, guys, you could be waiting a wee lot. BBC Sport uploaded a column about it. Oh, how the next month is crucial for Jim Goodwin. What, about what he's going to have for dinner? <laughs> he's how the fuck are you there? Until then, peace.